Hey, are you by chance like one of the millions of Americans that suffer from there's nothing unique about my car and it's just like everybody else's itis? Or if you don't know the answer to that question, it's highly likely the answer is yes! But that's okay because like a four-year-old with a brand new sticker book, we're gonna have some fun. Let's go. I missed that, say it one more time. <laughs> wow, this looks good. So guys, aloha and Nakomo Mai too, my little piece of paradise here I call Hawaiian Garage, which I'm surrounded by my dream vehicles. Our attention is back derived here to where we just finished about 14 to 15 hours of paint correction work. You'll also see some color over on the hood over there, which is not the right color, nor the final graphic, which we're gonna be playing around with today because today's video is all about making this car one of one. For as long as I can remember, I always enjoy driving something that's a little bit unique from everything else on the road. There's a lot of Camaros out on the road. There's a heck of a lot of Silverados out on the road. You'll notice that little touches amongst the both of these vehicles make them unique to me. And my goal today is to have a little bit of a DIY type method to make the ZL1 truly special to myself and one of one. And in addition to enjoying driving things that are a little bit unique, I've been cursed with a disorder to where I hate paying for things. When I say hate paying for things, I mean paying people to do things I think I have the ability to do, which leads us here today with a massive sticker, some scissors, a knife, and a lot of hours is gonna be spent where it's not 102 degrees. We're gonna make this thing one of one with a nice Hawaiian Polynesian tribute. And then we're going over the top of it with some Avalon King ceramic Coating. I've used nothing but Adam's polishes to this point. Seven year graphing coating on this. So we're gonna look today at how good their product is, but not before we see some carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. And welcome to where we're gonna be spending quite a bit of time. What this is, is what we've been using to test out on the car to find the exact kind of design that we're going for. This is not the final color. This was made in the development of that final color, but I can't express how many versions that we actually went through. Color on the Trail Boss and the ZL1 and henceforth most cars is gonna be this ocean accent. Now I call it ocean because it is a custom color. This is our accent color. Because this is all DIY and this is not a professional job, I'm cutting individual pieces to create this Hawaiian tribute Polynesian type design on the ZL1. Most are Hawaiian. Took a lot of work to get here, but we have a bunch of little pieces, which essentially is going to be our livery going on the ZL1. Now in the Hawaiian culture, typically the triangle, a solid triangle will represent a shark tooth or niho mano. Mano being shark, niho being tooth. We'll get into detail in a little bit exactly kind of the meaning behind this, but this is what we're doing. Because over the last few days, I've laid out 15 to 20 different designs, as you can see here, there, 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 there. Once it's all wrapped and completed, we'll then ceramic coat over the top of everything, including the vinyl, to seal it all in. Now, if I were to ceramic coat before putting the vinyl, the vinyl wouldn't stick and it wouldn't last. This is why we're doing it in this step in the process. So without further ado, here's some music for you guys. Time for me to get to work. p.m. so I'm kind of be a little bit quiet. I think I screwed up just a little bit. I wanted this probably another inch and a half to the left so it kind of tucks up underneath the cowl which I think actually might be okay once we do get the roof up and over. That actually might aid to my benefit having it not overwhelming given it is kind of tucking underneath that hood cowl. That's gonna look so freaking cool to me anyways because design beauty it's subject to the eye of the beholder and my eye says it's pretty dang cool.
thing at these lights. Now oh, that one's going out. I swear, two years is the lifespan of all of these LED lights. That one's out, that one's out, that one's out. That one's out, that one's out, that one's out, that one, that one, that one. Absolutely ridiculous. Just makes this car look so much more unique. <sighs> Love that. Okay, so our next step here is our side splitters. We have our 3M 2080 series carbon fiber wrap, which is what we did our front splitter in, finally going on our side skirts. The actual Z0110 Lees out on the road have a matte black front splitter, matte black side skirts, as well as the rear diffuser. We're gonna kind of go along that route, but using the carbon fiber wrap instead. So that's the goal this morning, and once we get that done, we're breaking out the ceramic coat finally. All right, boys, there is our 3M wrap film, the 2080 series. I will link this in the description below. It is by far my favorite carbon fiber vinyl wrap. It's got a nice satin, a little bit texturized finish, but it has probably the best adhesives out of every carbon fiber I've ever used. And I was initially gonna plan on lifting the car up to be able to work the wrap around the rocker, but it turns out when I lift it, it covers up a good portion of the bottom side. I guess we're gonna be laying down for the majority of this. And I gotta figure out how in the world I'm gonna stretch it around that portion right there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, at this point, this has been like a two and a half week project, but we're finally to the point of hitting this with a ceramic coat from Avalon King. Now, as far as what's happened in this video so far, this design or livery has changed multiple times. That is our final design. And then carbon fiber, 3M 2080 series there on the side splitter. We followed this body line a little bit differently than just wrapping the entire molding here, which I actually enjoy how that turned out we just did our rear side. The majority of the wrap actually went up and under the car, which is gonna be nice from a protection standpoint because these guys throw up quite a bit of rocks. Well, with all that said, we're finally to the portion of today's video for our Avalon King Armor Shield. I've heard really good things about Avalon King and I'm excited to try out their product. They're very heavy in the DIY space, which is exactly where we belong. We need to hit the car with isopropyl alcohol. We have just a simple Walmart alcohol. We're gonna put that in the spray bottle. Finally, we get the stuff so I can drive this car. So the amount of time you leave us on there varies a little bit by temperature. It's about 100 degrees outside and probably about 90 degrees in the garage. So it's gonna cure a little bit quicker than it would in a cold climate. So we're gonna give it a minute or two more and then go back and buff it off. Now we'll say with the black applicator pad, it is kind of tough to see how much product you've put on your pad. So you're kind of guessing. We'll figure it out. Sometimes. We'll say just after this one portion, this product is actually much more user friendly than what I've traditionally used in the past. You can cover really a lot more ground and buff it all really at the same time. The buff off process is easier and I think it cures a little bit slower, which means I can do probably a bigger section of the vehicle and then go back and then buff it out. So that's gonna be the goal. And actually that means we can get this done a lot quicker than what I'm used to, which is a big win. But even just look at this stripe, look at that vinyl, look at that color pop with that ceramic coat on it. And it's still got a cure. We're gonna let this thing cure for a day after we're done here, but just look at that shine.
not get over how shiny this thing is. That gloss is insane. Look at this thing. <laughs> so we definitely have a few spots to buff out. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's a little spot that needs to be buffed out still. And if I let that cure fully, it's gonna look like that forever. So, like that, buff that out. She's good. And look who's just getting home. Let's go. Let's go. Miss that, say it one more time. <laughs> wow, this looks good. like that. Time for a quick pit stop. We're going to be back in paradise in three, two, one. Woo! What a morning, guys. I really missed this car, and dang, does it look so good. When it comes to design, it's going to be subject to the eye of the beholder. I think this looks phenomenal. Some of you out there might think it looks like total crap, and that's fine because this design is for me. That ocean color looks fantastic on that black, and the way that metallic within the vinyl catches light looks really, really cool as well. As far as the design goes, you'll see the triangles going downward across Polynesian culture or Hawaiian culture. This will more times than not represent shark teeth or Nihomano in Hawaiian. More popularly across tattoos or in Hawaiian kakao, you'll see triangles integrated a lot through it because triangles or shark teeth represent strength given this is an LT4 platform, one of GM's finest pieces of engineering. Strength, I think, is an appropriate representation of this car. We also have the two stripes across the outside and then the right side filled in with these half triangles and the left side left a little bit blank. I like asymmetrical designs. And I think that actually turned out really nicely, but there is purpose behind it. This channel name, Lone Star Hawaiian, that actually there's a meaning behind that. I am Hapa Hawaiian or half Hawaiian. My dad's Hawaiian, my mom's a Texan. So we have a Lone Star Hawaiian livery on the Lone Star Hawaiian F1 LE project that we've been calling now Night Matcha. The 3M 2080 series carbon fiber wrap looks really good across the splitter. Seems to protect it really nicely wrapped up underneath the splitter as well. And then there in the rear. Last but not least with the ceramic coating, the Avalon King DIY kit was probably the easiest install I've ever done on a ceramic coating. I've only used Avis Polish's products before and that seven year ceramic coating was pretty difficult to install on the Silverado and the buff off process was pretty difficult as well. The Avalon King, you could cover a lot of ground. It was super simple and this is probably the best gloss I've ever achieved on a finish but it took a while to get there with the paint correction process. So big fan of those guys and I'll put a link in the description below. Definitely worth going to check out and try out for yourself. This looks phenomenal. I'll keep you guys updated on the longevity of the coating. But if you enjoyed it guys, please at this time, scroll down, smash that like button below. It helps me out, helps this channel continue to grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button. I wanna thank you guys for the support and the continued support on this channel. I can't believe I'm doing things like this and I have a car like this sitting behind me as I'm leaning against a 2020 Silverado. All this stuff is just beyond me. And it's also like 98 degrees in the garage right now. So I'm gonna get back inside. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me till this point in the video. We'll catch you guys in a few days for our next video until that day comes. As always, y'all take care of who we hope. Aloha. Cheers!